Let's dive into the world of PHP PSR standards. PSR stands for PHP Standards Recommendations. They're a set of standardized conventions and interfaces that promote PHP development best practices. By following these standards, we can improve code interoperability and quality across various PHP projects. It ensures that different pieces of code can work together seamlessly, making development more efficient and collaborative. Now let's explore PSR1, the basic coding standard. This standard outlines key requirements for PHP code. It mandates the use of PHP tags, specifically the standard PHP tag, or the short echo tag only. Additionally, it emphasizes UTF-8 encoding without a byte order mark. It also specifies that classes should be named using the Studley caps format, methods should follow the camel case format, and constants should be in uppercase with underscores separating words. For example, a class name would be user manager, a method would be get username, and a constant would be max underscore users. Here is an example code snippet demonstrating these conventions. Now let's explore PSR2, which is the coding style guide. Before we proceed, it's important to note that PSR2 has been deprecated and is no longer recommended for new projects. However, it's still worth understanding its original focus, which centered on code formatting standards, indentation with four spaces, line length recommendations, and brace placement rules. So you should consider that PSR 12 is the current standard for the coding style guide. So we are going to migrate from PSR 2 to PSR 12. Use PSR 12 for new projects as it is an extended coding style guide. It includes modern PHP features and offers a backward compatible approach. Let's explore PSR4, the auto-loading standard. Its core concept revolves around mapping class names to file paths, enabling namespace-based auto-loading. It supersedes the older PSR0 standard and seamlessly integrates with Composer. For instance, a class named vendor backslash package backslash class located in the src directory would correspond to the file path src slash class of hp. Here's an example of how to configure PSR4 autoloading in a composer's configuration file. Let's explore PSR7, which defines the HTTP message interface. This standard specifies a set of core interfaces, including message interface, request interface, response interface, server request interface, and URI interface. These interfaces facilitate the creation of immutable HTTP message objects. An example of usage is shown, using the response interface to set the status and header. Let's explore PSR11, which is the container interface. This standard focuses on dependency injection by providing a standard container interface, facilitating the service location pattern and ensuring framework interoperability. It defines only two simple methods, get and has, for retrieving and checking the existence of services within the container. The interface definition includes the get method, which accepts a string ID and the has method, which also accepts a string ID and returns a Boolean value, indicating whether the container has the specified service. Let's explore PSR 12, the Extended Coding Style Guide. This standard extends PSR2 standards and supports PHP 7.0 plus syntax. It also provides guidelines for anonymous classes formatting, declare statements rules, and type declarations. It serves as the current standard for PHP projects, ensuring code consistency and readability. An example of its formatting conventions, including declare statements, class definitions, and method signatures. Let's explore PSR 15, which is the HTTP server request handlers. This standard introduces the middleware pattern, defining the request handler interface and middleware interface. It standardizes request and response processing using a chain of responsibility approach while ensuring PSR 7 message compatibility. An example of the handler interface, showcasing the handle method, which accepts a server request interface object, and returns a response interface object. 
Now, let's explore the benefits and adoption of PSR standards. The key benefits includes code interoperability, framework independence, consistent coding style, easier team collaboration, and reduced learning curve. These standards have achieved industry-wide standardization, promoting best practices across PHP projects. The wide adoption includes frameworks like Laravel, Symfony Components, Composer Packages, major PHP libraries, and enterprise applications. Tools like PHP CS Fixer and CodeSniffer provide support for enforcing these standards. Let's summarize the popular PSR standards we've explored. PSR 1 provides the basic coding standard with fundamental naming conventions. PSR 4 defines the auto-loading standard for namespace-based class loading. PSR 7 specifies the HTTP message interfaces for request and response handling. PSR 11 outlines the container interface for dependency injection patterns. PSR 12 is the extended coding style guide, replacing PSR 2. And PSR 15 defines the HTTP server request handlers and middleware. By adhering to these standards, we can build better interoperable PHP applications. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.